Welcome back to my channel. This is Vanisha Alexander Marshall. I'm Ryan Chan. I'm Kendrick Alexander. Welcome. For those of you that are new to my channel, welcome as well. And don't forget, hit the subscribe button at the bottom and make sure you're clicking the bell. So when I am uploading on YouTube, you are notified. <laughs> is there well, something that you're looking at? Yes. What? I'm in pain. Oh, yeah, you got long. From getting cut. From earlier? Yeah, it's just a word. I got. I think myself in the wrong spot it hurt. Oh, okay. She's looking at her thumb because she cut herself. It's there. black. Can't you see? No, nobody won't see that. Well, that disgusting bleeding. Is it? Okay. okay, so today, if I can get, can I get through this first? Hello? Mm -hmm. Oh, Lord. Why, Jesus? Why? You need to wash your ass. My hands. <laughs> that too. <laughs> anyway, so today we're going to talk about the remaining makeup that is on my face. And I could pretty much say I'm pretty impressed with this brand. I'm just kind of shocked at this brand, but we're going to talk about it. So the makeup that is on my face, this is a brand new brand that you've been hearing everybody talk about on YouTube. So I decided to try this out. So the makeup on my face, this is Rare Beauty. Okay. And she eating a fry. This girl take the damn. Okay, can I? Rare Beauty. Mm -hmm. Okay, Rare Beauty. This is the newest brand that has everybody talking. <clears throat> You're right. That means I need to eat. <clears throat> and this is a brand by Selena Gomez. So she came out with her first makeup line <laughs> as we sneak a fry. No, that's a corn. Okay. Slowly. Yeah. Can, can you put it down, please? Yeah. You on the camera. He's not. <laughs> big difference here. <laughs> big, big difference. Mm -hmm. Huge. Yeah, yeah, I'm hungry too, okay. but we're going to do this, okay? So we're going to go ahead. Right. Rare Beauty. <laughs> Alright, 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 come on. Red booty, my food hot. Can I get started now? Yeah. Okay, let's yes. start. Cut me off. Can I finish? Oh, thank you. Alright, let's get. <laughs> Both of y'all. I got an itch. Don't nobody need to know that? What? It's you too. <laughs> I can't talk about nothing. Can I talk? Yes. Okay, Rare Beauty, Selena Gomez. I can't even get started with nothing with, with y'all here. Uh -huh. So let's get started with primer. Can I get started with the primer? Yeah. Okay, so yes, yeah, so primer is new. Well, it's gonna be new because it's a new brand. Okay, you have to give that face. What is wrong with you? You got a bad fry, didn't you? No. You ate the fish. Bear. You didn't get no ketchup, did you? No. It's in the bag, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what you get. Yeah. Thank you. Primer! Can I get started? That's what she get. That's what she get. So the primer is new. As she continues to make that face. See? The bougie face. Yeah, so this is Rare Beauty. This is their Illuminating Face Primer. Here it is. Yes, it's white. It kind of washes me out. She's not a seafood eater. Don't know why she got fish, but she's not a seafood eater. Anyway, Rare Beauty. She a girl eater. Illuminating Primer. Yeah. Welcome. Oh my God. Can I finish? Yeah. Mm. Thank you. Mm. Primer. Primer. Yeah. Rare beauty. It's new. Brand new. Boom. Yes. Yes. Here's what it looks like. I'm going to demonstrate for you. First of all, it's hydrating. Mm -hmm. I want to say this was $19. Hmm. Yeah. So not bad. And this is what it looks like. Illuminate. And yes, it gives like this silvery tint. Yeah. to it to make it glowy you know that mm -hmm. hydrating glow 
I got a little worried at first because it's like, oh, I see silver. So here it is. I know you've seen it. But then it's kind of faint. So it, it, was, it actually wasn't a bad primer. Look, it's not bad at all. Not bad at all. So, okay. It, it, it's not like that elf illuminating putty primer that had me looking like a solid gold down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, but this has some silver in it. But for me, as you can see, it disappeared. It disappeared. So, actually, I like this primer. This is not a bad primer at all. Very much so, not a bad primer. So far, so good. Foundation. So, of course, yes, foundation is new. This is Rare Beauty. This is her foundation. Here it is. The shade that I picked up was 420N, which is 420 neutral. neutral. Yeah, and then this is what it looks like. Neutral. Neutral. Did you know I have a neutral golden undertone? I have a neutral, neutral. undertone. And look, it has the large doe for applicator. Here it is. This foundation color is a little light on me. That is a humongous piece of stick. This is a doe for applicator. <laughs> Oh, I didn't know that. Yes, this is what it looks like. I know you've seen it so many times. And I will swatch for you. This is what it looks like on me. That's why I said it was a little light on me. It go on me a little light. However, this is something I have not heard anyone say about the foundation. I haven't really heard. Okay. I haven't really heard anyone say that it oxidized on them. This oxidized on me. That means when I, it went on my face, mm -hmm. it made me darker. Oh. Thing is, I kind of needed it though because it went on me. I was a little gray because <laughs> it was. You see, why well, the thing gray? Well, it because it the foundation shade. It's a little light, and when I first swatched it on my face after put on the primer this morning, I went. <gasps> it's light. a little light, but it oxidized and then it fit in. I went, oh, okay. So I checked it throughout the day. Yeah, it did bring up a lot more of my oils because this is supposed to be hydrating found it, uh, primer. Again, the finish wasn't bad. It's a light to medium uh, coverage. It's supposed to be that kind of foundation, you know, that's supposed to be skin-like. Skin-like. So it's not really heavy on the face or like a full coverage foundation. That's what this full is. This coverage. is not a full coverage. Anyway. This is not a full coverage foundation. And what's also very awesome about this, see the ball? This is to help for people with disabilities that has lupus or arthritis and they have a hard time trying to turn up. That's what this is for. So I really do like that she really kept that in mind, you know, for people with disabilities with their hands and they can't, you know, do, you know, turn, turn things. It's awesome. The foundation was $29. No, a lot of rare beauty stuff to say it's in Sephora. It is affordable Sephora. Shocking and believe it or not, y'all, because y'all know my kids, anything high, they cringe. They were actually saying the prices for rare beauty wasn't that bad. So again, this is the foundation. That's what it looks like. It is a little lighter on me. It did go on me a little light, but it did oxidize on me a little bit. So it really wasn't that bad. Uh, are you having fun with the Dofa applicator? Yeah. Uh -huh. So if, if I have a cramp, I'm a That's what the ball is for. So it's to help with that. So overall, this is not a bad foundation. I would, if I would were to get this again, I would get a darker shade. I would. I would get a darker shade. Okay. Concealer. Uh, hello. Yeah, thank you. It's new. At least, oh. So we're sticking with Rare Beauty. This is the concealer. Here it is. It's a little smaller than the original. The original. Than the foundation. Here it is. And I also got 420 in in the concealer. So it's like Fenty. Mm -hmm. And someone, I heard someone on YouTube say that Rare Beauty is supposed to be the sister brand to Fenty. Supposed to be. I don't know how true that is. Don't quote me on it. I'm going by what someone else on YouTube said. Um, again, the concealer is 420 in. It's supposed to be corresponding to your the foundation, which this foundation is 420 in. The concealer is 420 in. Same thing has the little top to help with those with um, 
arthritis or lupus or something like that. The concealer, I want to say, was 16, I believe. Ain't bad. Not bad, but check out the Dofa applicator. It's kind of a weird looking Dofa applicator. Here it is. That's what it looks like. No, it's kind of an angle like kind of Dofa applicator. Kind of full coverage concealer. Not bad. Very blendable. Almost reminded me of the Fenty Beauty concealer that I have in shade 410. It really reminded me of Fenty Beauty. Again, very impressed with Rare Beauty. Didn't have a problem with it. Well, oh, it would be nice if I swatched it, huh? Because no. I'm the swatcher tonight, not you. So this is, see, it's real close. Right. It's really, really close. So my hands are tied. Yeah. So here it is, swatch. So the darker one is the foundation in the shade 420N. This is the concealer, also 420N. So as you can see, it's like corresponding to each other if you want to brighten or so. So the foundation and concealer, it's not bad. I would go a little darker, but it's not a, It's not bad. Right. This is not a bad foundation and concealer or the primer. They say I got scared when I saw steel fall. I'm like, ooh. Okay, so for those of you that are new to my channel, I do set my face twice. She does not have a setting powder. She does not have a setting powder. So I went with my Laura Mercier loose setting powder. So I did set with my Laura Mercier. And then my second setting powder, of course, I went with... Fenty. Thank you. Yeah, then I went with my Fenty Beauty um, setting powder in Nutmeg. Now, I did cream bronze this time. I did contour this time just to try to combat the fact that the foundation was a little light. So, I did use the cream uh, bronzer from Fenty, the Fenty cream in the shade chocolate. So, I do have that. I did contour with that today. And I also, to combat all the cream, I did use the powder bronzer to kind of set that Fenty Beauty in Coco Naughty. Mm. Yeah, so that's Coco Naughty. Coco Naughty. Coco Naughty. You ain't yourself today, are you? I'm tired. She's tired. Okay. She did have a blush. She does have a blush. She has cream blush. So, for those of you that are new to my channel, I am not into cream blush. So, I did not pick up the blush because I'm just. Anyway, that's a Gatorade you have to build. I'm sorry. <laughs> What's so funny? Because you said that's a Gatorade you got the belt. I ain't never known why I had a bird right behind the Gatorade. Gatorade. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, blush. Do you have to force it out? Anyway. Blush. <laughs> I'm tired. Come on. Can Keep we finish? Yes. yes, thank you. Blush. So again, I did not pick up <laughs> <laughs> any of the the cream blush because I am not into cream blush. Really? Really? Well, you're wrong. <laughs> Straight? Yeah. Did you yeah. see how he sat down? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> This? Did you have to say that out loud? I bet they don't even know what I'm doing. Don't worry, they're gonna find out. Anyway, blush! They don't know, now you know. <laughs> okay, for the third time, I did not pick up any of her cream blush. I'm not into cream blush. You said so, that. Yes, I can't finish or pull up what I did put on my face <laughs> because y'all got these shenanigans going on here. You still picking up a frog. <laughs> I understand he's catfish and fries, but can I finish? Yes. Okay. So the cream, I did put on cream blush. I don't wear this cream blush very often. Cause I'm just not into cream blush at all, which is why I didn't pick up any for Rare Beauty. I'm just, cause I know for a fact, this would have been the only time I would wear it and I would not wear it again. I'm just not into it. So I do have the cream blush on from Fenty Beauty in Strawberry Drip. I don't wear this very often. But being that Rare Beauty did have. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh. I'm in my. I'm not losing my mind. <laughs> I thought 
Hello, I'm sitting for my. Can I finish? Right. I'm trying to finish this video here, and y'all, I'm going to send y'all out. <laughs> hey, God, I didn't do it. You one is talking out loud. <laughs> you see what I deal with? You see? I have new people watching my channel now. Anyway, cream blush, damn it. Cause y'all getting on my nerves like <laughs> through this. But we are your kids. We're supposed to do that. Not on YouTube. That's YouTube? Yes. Well, I thought that was a phone. This is cream blush here <laughs> that I'm wearing from Fenty. Strawberry drip. I'm gonna put this down because they're acting super, Can't super, trip, super. Trip, trip. Can't trip, trip. <laughs> Can I finish? You're going to buy that chair. <laughs> wait, wait. I thought it was already bought. I'm going to buy a new one. Yeah, that's what I thought. Highlighter. Can I finish? Highlighter. So do the. <laughs> Y'all got me all tied up. So she does have a cream highlighter. Again, I'm not too much into the cream highlighter, but I do have this cream highlighter that, again, I don't wear very often. It's from Collab. It's the shade, it's Space Cadet is the shade that I'm wearing. I don't, I'm not really into it. I'm just not. She doesn't have an eyeshadow palette. I'm going to need to come up with an eyeshadow palette because, you, you you know, I, I need an eyeshadow palette. So I kept it simple. I went with my Juvia's Place, um, the Warriors uh, eyeshadow palette. So I went with that today since she don't have an eyeshadow palette. I, I, I'm going to need them to have an a eyeshadow palette. I need you to have an eyeshadow palette. I didn't see no mat. Uh, did she have a mascara? Probably not. I don't think she had a mascara either. So I went with my Fenty Beauty mascara. I know it's a new brand, so you know some things that they'll probably be having some new releases later on, but I don't think she had any of that. Now the others is new and it is rare beauty. So we're gonna go with the lip. It kinda lasted. What you think? Kinda. It kinda lasted. It, it did, it kinda lasted. So this is from Rare Beauty. Here it is. I know you've seen it a lot. The shade I ended up with, I believe this is is it grateful? I can't read it. Read that. Mm. What's the shade name? It's tiny, huh? Yeah. Fearless. Fearless. That's what it is. This is the shade. She has like strengthened, fearless, you know, empowering, you know, helping those with mental issues and so forth. So I really did like how she named her liquid lipsticks. Um, so this is the shade Fearless. Here it is. I know you've seen it. It's actually, you would think it would be as dark as this. It's not. It's really, really not. Here it is. This is what it looks like. This is the applicator. So this is the shade. Check that out. I couldn't read that much. Great. It's great. <coughs> so this is what it actually looks like. This is the shade. This is what it actually looks like. I thought it would be a little bit darker. It did, it lasted as long as it could. It's still a little movable on my lips. Um, I'm used to topping it with a clear lip gloss, but I didn't do that because I wanted to see how this would perform. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. So it's, it's, it's pretty good. I really like it. Last but not least, setting spray. So she did come out with a spray, a setting mist. So this is from Rare Beauty. This is their setting mist. You do have to shake it up because it does have oils in it. I don't know if you can see because I just shook it up, but it does have some oils in it. I got a little scared with the oil. So, and then it has like a very light scent. That's pure perfume for real. I can't smell nothing. Oh, you really getting sick. Yeah. Like a light mist. Uh, it's not bad. It's not bad. It, it just went up my fumes. Oh, okay. But that's it. This is the Rare Beauty setting mist. It's really not a bad setting mist. It's really not. I it particularly... Oh, sorry. 
particularly if you want to, you know, have that little bit of movement if you're wearing a matte foundation. So, yeah. So, we're going to go back through everything since we kind of did make this a little phase. So, the Rare Beauty Setting Mist. I like it. I would put this in my everyday stack. I really do like it. I like it. I really do like it. The Lip Color in Fearless. It's pretty good. I would actually probably put a liner with it. But I would put it in my everyday stack. So, this is not bad at all. That's not bad. Um, the... Primer that I got absolutely totally scared of the illuminating primer again not a bad primer at all get scared me with the silver that's in there because it is illuminating again I would put this in my everyday stack this is actually not bad I did get a little scared about the foundation I picked out um, the rare beauty foundation as well as the concealer now of course you can't test nothing out because of COVID-19 so I tried to shade match as much as I could you know try it it's a little lighter the finish is awesome it's a great finish so it does give that light finish but it did oxidize on me which i think it ended up helping me out pretty good when it oxidized so i'm actually not mad at the foundation or the concealer this is definitely going in my everyday stack so overall with what i have with rare beauty this is a very good brand. I think Selena Gomez did a very good job with her brand. <clears throat> this is something I can definitely see myself wearing um, a lot. Um, again, with the foundation, I would get me a darker shade. If I were to go back and uh, get another foundation, I would get a darker shade. But overall, this is a very good brand. And to say it's in Sephora, it's affordable to say it's in Sephora. Because, her, again, her foundation is $29. I think the concealer is $19. I think the lip color is like $16. She has very good prices. So you're not going to really break the bank with Rare Beauty. I would definitely say with Rare Beauty, if you're just now getting into high-end makeup, this is a good starter brand for uh, to get your feet wet with uh, high-end makeup. So this brand, definitely two thumbs up. So that is it with my review on Rare Beauty by Selena Gomez. Coming up next, I do have random makeup. So I got to go through all that random makeup. I do have uh, Charlotte Tillsbury. So look for a makeup review for Charlotte Tillsbury. I really want to see what all the hype is all about with Charlotte Tillsbury. I just want to see what the hype is about. Um, I do have updated e.l.f., updated Maybelline. I will have updated Minted Cosmetics and updated Pat McGrath. Pat McGrath came out with some new stuff. So I'm going to do an updated Pat McGrath makeup review. So with that being said, this is Vadisha Alexander Marshall. I'm going to turn. I'm Kendrick Alexander. And I hope you have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.